mutants, magic, technology, martial arts. Once Lee Walser lived a normal life, then everything changed when he was attacked. Now he's a superhero who draws on the power of all four elements. In a world that needs superheroes, Lee and his friends must take time to master their abilities. But when the time comes, the immortal paladin and team gold will save the world. At seven o'clock this morning, the skies over Birmingham were lit up by a mysterious green flash. The reactions of witnesses quickly changed from curiosity to excitement as they instantly gained mutant powers. Then things turned violent. People started testing their new powers. People abandoned their cars in morning traffic to fly away. People tested their strength by bending and breaking things. Lightning, fire, and lasers hit everything. Soon fights were breaking out all over. Mama, why'd you turn it off? This is the same thing they've been saying. They'll say it again in 30 minutes, and Lee can't stay that long. Yeah, I just came by to make sure you were all okay. I've got to get back out there and try to restore order. Well, why didn't I get any powers? Why didn't Momo get any powers? I think it didn't change children or old folks. You'll probably get powers when you're older. Yeah, that's what Mutagen said, and I think he knows more about it than anyone else. Who's Mutagen? One of the people responsible for this. I'm glad I came by. It'll be a lot easier to do my job knowing you're okay. Have fun with your food-making powers, Mama. I am gonna get powers! Want me to make a pizza? Y'all gonna be on my 600-pound life. This map shows the affected area. Red Mountain shielded the area south of Birmingham, but this seems to have intensified the effect on people on this side of the mountain. In addition to the very young and the very old, the bomb also didn't affect a few people who were shielded by their surroundings. Schneider, Carol, and Shirley were all in the base and not affected. And Shirley is pissed about it! Next Gen only had four bombs. Who set off the others? Next Gen had facilities in Florida and Texas. We've moved to shut them down, but they've launched a court battle. A court battle? What can they say in court after bombing eight cities? They're arguing, based on a loose interpretation of the Second Amendment and the X Amendment, that all Americans have a right to have superpowers. They're saying the government has violated that right by restricting access to superpowers and that they're simply giving people what they're entitled to. It's become a political movement. A lot of people want superpowers. What kind of powers did you get, Mr. Argent? Well, I can fly and I can see really far now. If you have super eyes, why are you still wearing glasses? I've never needed glasses. I wear them because my wife says they make me look smart. Dr. Weird, what did the Order of Merlin say? They're at a loss. About the only way they could undo this would be to turn back time, and you know they're very reluctant to do that. But this is a disaster! They think that assessment may be premature and based on panic. Every contact we've had with the distant future has shown that mutants will one day be much more common than they have been in our time. Perhaps this event is the beginning of something that is destined to be. Also, the Order has learned that the Jade Empire is building an army of super-soldiers. America having a large number of superheroes may be just what's needed to maintain peace. But why, Dr. Weird, the Jade Empire isn't our enemy? Because if they have a super-powered army, Russia and China will build forces in defense. Also, Lee, the Jade Empire is dragging its feet about ending its involvement in the drug and slave trade. I suspect that Wu Fang Chu is addicted to the profits from the trade. He's using it to fund his empire so he can keep taxes low. And this creates a very real risk of conflict with other nations. As for Birmingham and the other affected cities... 
I think that the crisis stage of our adjustment will soon pass. People want stability in their lives. They know that they still need to eat, and they still need to pay their bills, and they don't want their homes and cars destroyed. Most people will find that their powers help in their jobs and at home. Eddie, Greg, I asked you to come here because, now that I have telepathy, I can see why you haven't been doing well in class. And some will see their powers as an opportunity to help others or try a new career. I don't know anything about medicine, but I can use my powers to heal people. Do you think I could get a job? People who are inclined to act foolishly will soon realize that police, security guards, and anyone they want to target also have superpowers. Does that mean that when things settle down, no one will need us anymore? No, people will always need law enforcement, and the power of the golden apples is greater than most mutants. In time, life begins to return to something people can accept as normal. Have you been injured by someone recklessly testing out their new superpowers? Has your property been damaged by a superhero battle? Thousands of people in Alabama have been hurt by reckless mutants. These cases can be complex. If you've been injured by a superpowered mutant, don't wait. Call Alex Serona now. Call me, Alabama! Within 24 hours after the green flash, Every costume shop in the city was completely sold out. But no matter how much things stay the same, things will change, and some things will never be the same again. I never really wanted to be a superhero. I just wanted to be an inventor. I got started doing this because I met a superhero, and I knew my inventions could help him be a better superhero. It turns out that inventors and superheroes want the same thing. And it's something we should all want, to make the world better for everyone. As a member of Team Gold, I've had a front row seat to some truly world-changing events. And since the Golden Apples have made us immortal, I'm excited to, about getting to see many more. But no matter what we may accomplish together, I think Team Gold's greatest contribution to mankind may always be our recent failure. We tried to stop Next Gen and we failed. We were right to fight them, but I'm glad we failed. We fought them because they were criminals, but in the end, they did change the world, and I think it's going to be a change for the better. But for better or worse, it has changed, and no moral judgment about it matters anymore. We can't turn back. We have to adapt. That's how we survive. That's how we become heroes. I inherited my lab and my love for science from my uncle a supervillain called the Lightning Bug. His real name was Stefan Eminescu. He did some terrible stuff, but without him I couldn't be Gadget. I used my lab to help Paladin, and the first time I put on my costume, it was to help save the city from a danger my uncle created. But I couldn't have done it if he hadn't been my uncle. I couldn't have helped Paladin without my lab. Whatever the world becomes tomorrow... It will have been shaped by Next Gen and by all of the people, good and evil, who've come before us. It's tempting to look at the past and pass judgment, but our judgment doesn't change anything. We can never undo the past, we just have to live with it and go forward, adapt and survive, and keep helping each other with whatever we've been given. A wise woman named Geneva Pearson said, Villains do whatever they want. Heroes do what needs to be done. This is my first time ever giving a speech. I think you're just giving me a chance to practice for my Nobel speech in December. But they tell me I'm the student who's shown the most improvement. Probably because I started at the bottom. It's really not fair. I learned a lot from that teaching machine. The others worked a lot harder than I did. But I think that's the number one thing I've learned from all this. Life isn't fair. Some people are rich, some people are poor, some people have talent, some people have disabilities. None of us ask for this, none of us deserve it. So if you're one of the lucky ones, use what you have to help other people. Luck can change. One day you might need their help. Us.
simple dream To fight the unbeatable foe To bear with unbearable sorrow To run where the brave dare not go The unrightable wrong To love Pure and chaste from afar To try When your arms are too weary To reach The unreachable star oh, This is my quest To follow pictures i want to take this off oh you should make it your new super suit not me you're thinking of gadget can we eat the cake now come on lee we're going to be late we'll just take off our robes in the car you make sure that's all you take off in the car oh my god she did not just say that mama <laughs> y'all just be good since everyone on the team can fly now, Kathy decided to have the graduation party in the sky over downtown with a headphone DJ. This is scary. You can't fall. Hey Mike, who's your friend? 
This is Valerie. She's Steven's sister. She got her powers from the Green Flash. Hi, Steven told me you guys are all cool. I got air powers and he got animal powers. Our dad's too old, but our mom got telepathy. All anyone wants to talk about these days is what powers they got. Oh, that's just how we introduce ourselves now. Trust me, there's a lot more to me than my powers. I'm not an airhead. So we're out of high school. Everything is happening so fast. Have you thought about what you're going to study in college? No. I've had too many different things on my mind, and it's too late to enroll this year anyway. I haven't even thought about what school I'll be going to. With all the stuff you know from the teaching machine and your Nobel Prize, you could go to any school you want, even an Ivy League school or Oxford. Yeah, wow. Where are you going to go to school? I don't know. Probably UAB. I used to want to be a dancer, but now I don't think I could be happy being anything but a superhero. Well, I never wanted to be anything but a superhero, and I don't need to go to some Ivy League school to do that. I could go to UAB too. You know, all the new super geniuses that the Green Flash has made will want to go to Ivy League schools. Let them have it. If I didn't know you better, I might think you just wanted to go to the same school as me, and I'd have to tell you you were throwing away a super opportunity. I do want to go to the same school as you. I can go to Oxford or Munich some other time. I'm immortal. I can wait. But I can't let you slip away. That night, after everyone else has gone to bed, I still don't know what to say in my Nobel Prize speech. If I just admit that it was only luck, I'll make Wu Fang Chu look stupid, and I can't do that. If I say he thought Ling Ling and I were going to get married, I'll be letting them know that I don't want to go through with it. She'll feel used and he'll feel cheated. There's only one way to fix this. I have to tell Ling Ling the truth before I write the speech. I have to find a way to let her down easy. And I'm not going to do some sitcom crap to try to get her to break up with me. I've got to be honest. I need to check my email and see what Ling Ling has said lately. I haven't had time to look at it in days. That's weird. There's nothing here. Has she stopped emailing me? She hasn't sent anything since... Oh, crap! That was the day Kim came in here and we talked about my speech. She must have heard us somehow. Through the computer. I've been hacked. She knows Kim is immortal. She knows I don't want to marry her and she just stopped sending emails. I gotta tell Dr. Oops... Oh my gosh. So you're Paladin. You are a handsome young fellow. Who are you? I'm Ryujin, the Dragon King. I rule the Sea of Japan and bless the people with the rain and the bounty of the sea. I'd heard you were polite, so I guess you're only being rude because you're scared? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, ha have a seat. You want a sandwich or something? That's better. You're only the second dragon I've ever met, and you're the first one to come to my home. I understand, and I know you live in a strange land with barbaric customs. Well, what brings you here, sir? Ling Ling. G can I just talk to her? I'm sure she'll understand. I don't mean to hurt her. Where's that sandwich? Let's go to the kitchen. I've heard of sandwiches, but I've never had one. We don't have bread under the sea. What? No Krabby Patties? There goes my reason for wanting to go to Atlantis. Ho ho ho! My granddaughter told me about Krabby Patties. Does she live on land? Yes, she's the adopted daughter of Wu Fang Chu, Ling Ling's sister, Sakura Gozen. Oh yeah, Ling Ling mentioned her. My dad met her during World War II. Sakura is concerned about Ling Ling's obsession with you. Obsession? If Sakura is concerned, then I'm concerned. Ling Ling is important to her. Look, I don't want Ling Ling to be obsessed with me. 
The first time I met her, she told me we were going to get married. She's not giving me a choice. She doesn't really care about me. But you did agree to marry her. It wasn't a free choice. I had absorbed thousands of clones, all programmed to be loyal to Wu and his family. I was tortured. They kept me in a volcano. And people were dying every day in that war. My friends were captured. I just wanted it to end. I see. Well, Lingling Ling may be a bit too accustomed to getting what she wants. I think she's what you would call spoiled. Perhaps she needs a lesson in humility. Tell her what you told me. Don't try to spare her feelings. And do it soon. The longer you wait, the harder it will be for her to accept it. Yes, sir. Thank you for the sandwich. It's good. They kept you in a volcano? Yeah, and when they let me out, they said that if I escaped, they'd kill my friends that were captured. You never told us that. There wasn't anything we could do about it. I'm sorry I was so mad at you for agreeing to marry Ling Ling. I had no idea what you'd been through. I really thought that everything during that war went great for you. We were all jealous. I understand. I got three wishes. I learned all that stuff. I was going to marry a princess. I went to the Shaolin Temple. I walked on the Great Wall. It sounds great when you don't know about the other stuff. So now you're going to tell Ling Ling that you're not going to marry her? Yeah, I need to tell her right away. But I hate telling her by email. It seems rude. We have teleporters. I'll go with you for moral support. Yeah, I'm dreading it, but let's get it over with. It's daytime in China now. I gotta go get dressed. I gotta go get Gadget. We can't do international teleports without him. Goodbye!